And welcome back. This is Kotel, and I'm joined by Mr. Engel. How you doing, good sir? I'm doing fine. I well, was in the mood to be in the air today and see what people do, what do from above. So yeah, looking forward to those interesting matches. I always appreciate it, man, especially with the already knowledge that you have. Uh, kind of letting me know some of those angles I don't always see here. And we have for today a Boulevard Heights Redoubt for this HRE. 311 on the server pop. 164 on the attacking CSA versus 147 for the Union, although they are going to balance a Union unit over. Um, just starting out, um, since HD is on the Union team, um, how do you see the already getting integrated into this Union defense? Now, there are, in my opinion, there are two yeah, ways that stars. you can utilize Ardy on Union Redoubt. You can either use it to basically aim it at the passageways in the Bramble in front of the berm, or you move the cannons far back and around the berm. So basically, you open up a field of fire on the advancing CSA. It's a more precarious situation for artillery. Uh, CSA obviously has the upper hand here, but in the end, the skill of the individual gunner decides. Yep, and it looks like we've got uh, Jackson Tells here from LFL with uh, multiple gunners here. Um, so we'll see how he goes with that. So no counter battery, though? You think just focus on as an anti-infantry type of weapon system? Counter battery is rather difficult. Uh, if you look forward to the left side of the fish hook, there are maybe two guns you could use for counter battery. And with the plethora of guns that are available here, it's rather negligible. Gotcha. So, and then uh, kind of reversing it to the other side as the troops are starting to move out, how do you think the CSA will use their already? Oh, the CSA uh, is in a very good position. Now, uh, when I usually do it with my boys, you see the spawn of the... Uh, in of the CSA artillery, as as they do now, they move the cannons forward, closer towards the fish hook. There is a there is a road and a single a road and a snake rail fence. There is a position where you can perfectly shoot at the lower end of the fish hook. So that would be that would be the perfect target for the CSA artillery. Now. Uh, it's two split. There is one close to the CSA spawn and one further to the right. So I move move the guns up and everything that's on that lower part of the fish hook should be fair game. Oh, cool. See what they do here. And it looks like HD did take all the guns. I think um, I think it's all of HD on the guns here for the Union. Yep, that was the initial plan. So, the Mr. Eddie, we'll have to see how he does. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Up and coming young officer, uh, showing a lot of promise. So I'm looking forward to his performance. Oh yeah, absolutely. Is this uh, has he done redoubt before, or is this a new one for him? Probably has. Since uh, my time zone is the EU time zone, I'm not knowledgeable of everybody in the NA time. So, but I'm pretty confident in him. Nice. We'll see how it does so far. So we do have the. Um... Restriction here on no sprinting and no bayonets until the 30 minute mark. Um, it looks like we have the uh, CSA in kind of a linear formation here opposite the Union. What do you think about the Union jumping outside onto this uh, far right of the Union to engage outside the berm? Do you think this is worthwhile or do you think that's risky at the moment? Absolutely worthwhile. It negates the CSA an avenue of attack straight away. Because sometimes uh, some commanders go with the shock and awe tactic, basically just rushing to breach the defenses. So it's it's a good move from the Union to basically decide where they fight and not where the game decides to put them in defensive positions. So I think it's a good one. And it puts the CSA on their foot. They have to defend themselves from greater distances. Yeah, I think that's I think that's absolutely right. And so far from what I'm seeing, it looks like we're seeing some pretty good shots from the Union. I did just hear some already go off. Not sure who shot it though. It was a CSA artillery from the right side battery. They haven't moved it up far. Uh, well, not far is is good, like 10 meters. But hey, we shall see what they do. The game is still young. Oh yeah, absolutely. 
Now, um, what do you think about the uh, CSA right now? Do you think um, they should be trying to be a little bit more aggressive even though there's no sprinting, or do you think it's they're wise to kind of play it out a little bit here and do some range shooting? Uh, in the beginning, since there are no bayonets and no sprinting, so the momentum for a charge is diminished. A uh, shooting game is uh, is a good choice, especially for the CSA have the Zouas with Mississippi rifles. Excellent long-range weapon. Also, they have a time window of at least 10 minutes for their own artillery to soften the enemy up. Yeah, let the already do a little bit of a shaping operations now. The Union is being wow. Two core on the far left side here has come all the way out into the uh, this rock formation. On the Union left, CSA right here. Yeah, I mean there is the saying: the best defense uh, is aggressiveness. And so far, at least, it looks like they're not losing too many tickets. So I think this is working pretty well for them. Yeah, the CSA. Uh has the upper hand on tickets on this map so they can't do this forward deployment all the time but for the beginning it's absolutely good absolutely feasible oh yeah i'm trying to see if i can find the already looks like they are looks like hd is still trying to get those cannons in position yeah it requires a bit of maneuvering work yeah, but I think with the HRE rule sets, you know, kind of delaying it a little bit, I think that favors it, um, getting those cannons over. Ooh, let's see some yeah. jam. There is actually a way to get the cannons over the berm, and if they can put it next to the friendly infantry, it can support them in negating the enemy's attacking power. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Right all the way. Close it up. Uh, looks like the uh, right side of the Union, though, is starting to take a little bit of damage. They are kind of maneuvering back a bit. And now starting the tickets are starting to get away a little bit here. Now it's, I think, about halfway down for the Union team. Okay, get your kits right here. Uh, they should know when to pull back, and it looks like part of them are already pulling back. There's only so much you can do with aggressiveness. And the CSA now is moving up with a group consisting of 4th Georgia, followed by TKO. The rest of the CSA is doing long range engagements. Yep, so far, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's about. Uh, it's starting to move up here quite a bit, like you were saying. There's LFL's coming to join him. Ooh, massive hit from the CSA already on the Union line. Like, everybody knocked over. It was A and V with Killer. Oh, I see the after Knock. effects here. Yeah, those poor guys are... See all those jelly bits? Those were, those were a person before. Yeah, starting to squeeze the Union a little bit here, and uh, on the ticket balance is looking pretty good. Um... Do you think the CSA needs to change anything up, or just kind of hold steady here until the 35? Do you think they should risk uh, sprinting up, or just keep this uh, long-range shooting and let the arty shape until... I mean, they're not allowed to sprint yet. Uh, they still got five minutes. I would steadily apply pressure on the Union to have them fall back to the Earthworks. Uh, like they do right now, there are certain sets of skirmishing rocks here and defilades. They should definitely use them and move up more. Yeah, and to your point, looks like the entire Union left now is behind the berm. We still have a few on the right side outside of it, but um, they're definitely starting to squeeze here. Yeah, sometimes uh, a, good a good strategy is also to know when to pull back and when to yield ground. Basically, trade space for time. Ooh, that sounded... Ooh, that already shot hit right where it should, but only knocked down a couple. Probably was a, was a shell with less shrapnel value. Yeah, I think you're right on that one. I, I mean, how, how, what's your impression so far of Elfell's shooting, uh, so far from what you've seen from them on the uh, gunnery? Um, solid. Solid for the moment. I mean, the Union is presenting themselves as good targets. So, LFL has good as good uh, marksmanship so far 
The important thing on terrains like this is to get the fuse length right. Perfectly would be that these shells explode just behind the berm, which is hard to do. It's a 0 0.1 second thing sometimes when it comes to fuses. So you would do, uh, so right now what kind of ammo would they be using? Would it be case or would it be shell? What do you think they I should use, be selecting? I choose case for shrapnel at the moment, since there are no obvious and big formations of unions, since uh, shell is high explosive basically, and lacks shrapnel power. And as soon as the battle lines are more defined, as the CSA assaults the earthworks, shell should be in order. Yeah, and I think they have plenty of ammo given the number of guns, so I don't oh, think... Oh, they, cer they certainly have. Uh, good old Jeff Davis was pretty generous when giving out ammo. Uh, right. left, 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 left. Yeah, apparently he had no money, but he's got plenty of ammo somehow, but that's all right. Well, his wife had nice jewelry, maybe yeah, he sold some of that. Eh, hey, you know. Pawn them off for ammo for the boys. Oh, we got a pretty forward movement here by JDL on the far left of the CSA line here. I think they're trying to probably cause destruction. They are now right in the side of the 88th New York. But don't seem to be hitting a lot. No, it looks like they got a little skirmish formation. I'm not seeing... I mean, the Brambos are actually pretty good. They stop a lot of bullets. They, it, it's kind of... You know, you think it'd be not bulletproof, but it is, so. Yeah, absolutely, and as you can see, the Union has now pulled back into the Earthworks for most of their team. The CSA is applying pressure, and there is a good defilade if you look from the Earthworks towards the first CSA line. There is at least half a man of uh, defilade there. Yeah, and now we're at uh, just under 32. Union looks like they're almost at uh, engaged. Uh, what's your impression so far? How do you think uh, the battle's shaping up? I think the battle is shaping up uh, for the CSA putting the most of their pressure on the Union right CSA left side. And that, in turn, will force the Union to be more towards the fishhook, which then provides ample feeding ground for hungry arty shells. So that's exactly how I would do it. Put the Union into a smaller, smaller enclosure so the high explosive can take effect. Try to get them, uh, shape them into a range the already can kill them, essentially. Shaping, shaping, shaping. It's It was uh, a, worth a lot back then, and it's worth a lot in today's conflict. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Everybody wants to skip phase zero. No, you can't skip phase zero. You can't. You gotta suffer the whole way. But yeah, 20 seconds till the pokey sticks come on. And now, I think then we will see more aggressiveness. I was, I was just going to ask, do you think they wait a little bit? Um, or do you think they go straight in for an attack, the CSA? Uh, they sh I think they will, because as I've mentioned, the CSA left Union right side is under massive pressure right now. It shouldn't be too long since uh, till they assail the Earthworks. Now, from a... Um artillery perspective here do you think the uh do you how do you think the already did they change it up at all or they just continue uh, for the csa already they just continue kind of prepping targets like or do they try to support this breach um from the position they're at it's hard to support a breach because if you get on ground level and at the backwards position they're at it's hard it's hard so basically where this one usa flag is is as far as they can see the rest is just get the mating work. And now the CSA is, like I said, on their left side, attacking the Earthworks in almost full force. Yep, yeah, looks like they're going in at two different angles here. So our HD sent out some canister there. Yeah, I mean, there's only so much you can do with Union Artillery. But I see, I see the boys preparing a gun on the lower end of the fishhook. Yep, looks like they're starting to get that one in position like you talked earlier. 
So Union hey has gone down to engage now after that attack. CSA still is battle ready. CSA continues to feed reinforcements into the basically breach. I mean, they're now on really shotgun distance with the enemy, but it looks like the Union has managed to clear the left side off of it. They've now taken stronger positioning on their side. Yeah, but now we got an attack on the uh, Union left here. Canada going in with the 20th Georgia. Trying to knock off the 51st. Looks like he went in. It was just them, though, unfortunately for them. So I don't think they're going to be able to hold that breach. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that shot was bad. It hit just behind the line of SB 51st New York. So that was almost the perfect hit from CSA artillery there. Yeah, I was able to catch that one, so. But so far, the Union seems to be very much, uh, almost gave up this entire left side now, except for the, uh, that two-core element here and the SB. Yeah, I mean, they have to consolidate it now. Yeah, I see Coach trying to get a cannon said, oh, he got hit. Yeah, sadly, I have to say, even though he's one of my boys, that was against the rules, sadly. Yep, sometimes you get a little, you know. Sometimes you make mistakes in the heat of passion. Yeah, you know. That's how most of us came about. Absolutely. But yeah, the eight seems to have a decent foothold in the middle. But Union is not really giving ground. The group on Union left towards the fish hook is getting under steady artillery fire. But here, if you, if you look towards the fish hook, there's an assaulting force under Major Porp. Yeah, 11 Mississippi is coming right after your boys here. You devilish bastards. Can they get the shot off? Oh, I like how Porp did it. You see how they split, though. They did not go right in front of the cannon. Yeah, he he did what he's supposed to do, yeah. So, sometimes you don't see that, so I'm very glad to see that from all of the Mississippi. Yeah, I see that, and I also find it good that H the HDR you guys pulled off, actually. No, none of them got killed. Well, now one did, but still, only one got killed after getting charged out from that position, so. Oh, and then HD is sending them some uh, replies, at least. Yep. Uh... As I think, since HD, I think, has two cannons, one for offensive, one for defensive work. Now we can say the one for offensive work is out of commission since the enemy is in proximity. But they have backup plans. They basically have Alamo positions pr uh, prepared. As you can see with this, with this nice three-inch rifle here, one of the most accurate guns during the Civil War, only crowned by the Whitworth rifle cannon. Yeah, and speaking of, it looks like that uh, center of the fish hook is getting nailed by LFL at the moment, that Artie. Oh, yeah. Oh, but second core 6 LA. Uh, what an assault. Badly not gonna help. But as long as the Union can keep them out of the berm, that is... That is okay. Well, I mean, you do have the 11 Mississippi down below, which makes me a little bit nervous, kind of shooting into their in their backs at the moment. How much of a threat do you think that is right now? Do you think you can just ignore it, or do you think they got to try it's to deal a, with that? It's a massive threat. You're looking at a at least 10-man-plus line here with rifles shooting into the backs. They're shooting uphill, though, which is a little bit of a bonus for the Union. But, uh, you know, they're literally guys, receiving back shots. Yeah, but it's not A and B this time, surprisingly. You know. Hey, man. I would king shame them. Ah, uh, you, you, you know, there's no shame. It's just an observation. Yeah, but uh, 11th MS has to be dealt with. You, you can't have the CSA gain a foothold there. Because after a foothold is a breach. Yeah, and I, I think, to be honest with you, right now, it's, it's unless that's dealt with, the Union's going to be in trouble now. I mean, the other option is they could try to charge out and defeat this element that's outside of the breach, but there's a lot of troops there, too, so... 
And the what ticket balance is getting bad too. It's it's. What I would do, the Union forces on the Union right should shift towards the bottom of the fish hook because the longer it doesn't get dealt with, the more of a problem it will become. Yeah, I agree. And the CSA is kind of consolidated a little bit in the center now. Oh, here might come the next Audi shot towards the bottom of the fish hook. Come on, don't leave me hanging, guys. <laughs> yeah, I just got the camera over here. Come on, let me see. I call it stage fight. Oh, it's not even loaded yet. Ah, oh. uh, you know, you, you know, you get nervous sometimes, you know. Yeah, they tried to happen back down as well. Oh, here comes A and B though. They're gonna try to charge him out. Got speed, boys. Got speed. Yeah, they have to. Uh, which was the case in the Civil War as well. You have to use your interior lines to shift reserves when they're where they're needed. But it looks like A and V might be winning. No, I think oh, they did. I didn't see a flag with 11th MS, so it was always... Unless it dropped, but I don't see one on the ground. The flag would have also given them away sooner, so they capitalized the most out of the situation, really. Yep, so they have secured that position, and the tickets are a little bit closer now. Um, my only, I guess, say criticism was I think that could have been a little bit earlier to do that maneuver, but... Probably, but uh, what you have to know, or basically all the viewers have to know, that this game is without any external communication, so it's just word to mouth, word to mouth. Very you have true. to send runners, and observation is key here. But the fish hook is now clear, now only the artillery is the fish hook's danger. But uh, we shall see, the CSA still has a foothold in the middle and is possibly causing a breach. Yep, here comes LFL flooding in. A and B taking, uh, turning around and getting back into the fight over here. Here comes SB 51st New York reinforcing. Yeah, this didn't look like it's too much to it, unfortunately for them. Yeah, you really have to be on your go. For example, down to the fish hook, there is a second core line under Baron that could certainly shift somewhere else. And Union does go down to taking losses here at 21 minutes. But the uh, HD artillery is preparing a 12-pounder close to the proposed CSA breach. Oh yeah, Mr. Sock and Mr. Higgs. He looking right at it. <laughs> oh, say cheese. Yep. Oh, you had, uh, you, had, you had Coach shooting again as well over there. So it looks like they maintained it. So now we're at 20 minutes. CSA just a little bit above engaged. Union not taking losses. And looks like we have a counterattack maneuver going on down here on the far left of the Union line under two car under Baron, like we were talking about. Um, Noble effort. But they're now encountering the enemy in the open under Mr. Porbigan. Trying to get him into line. Yeah. yeah, he calls a fall back, and I think that's wise. I wouldn't stay uh, and trade shots with 11th MS like that. Now the Union should really use their fortifications. Well, it looks like we got another breach here. Fort George and TKO coming in. Now what I would wish for the game, as we've seen in the movie Glory, that the CSA is just rolling down shells. Rolling them down the hill with a lit fuse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, the first kinds of landmines were actually just as, uh, artillery shells with pressure fuses in the ground. Oh, wow. Hey, they basically called them land torpedoes. And it'd be a hell of a thing to step on. Yep, and it was invented by uh, General McRuder. 
Oh, there goes that already shot. Coach. Get in here, get in here, get in here. Oh, Farmat. Farmat taking A and B a bit on the backhand. Oh, yep, here we go. Here comes another reach angle. I don't know, this is not looking too good for the Union now. Do you think they try to hold the breach or do you think they pull back? It really, it really depends. Uh, because they have sailed out uh, second, yeah, second core 6 LA shooting the side of the CSA, but they should really just consolidate what they have and here's the thing there is still there is a massive csa or basically union unit nyv on the union right side that does not need to be there oh yeah there's just a uh, small uh, i guess there might be a reserve there's just jdl out here is the only thing that's really kind of opposing them right now yeah if i was the union i would relocate them immediately yeah, it's getting kind of low here on tickets. CSA has hit taken losses, but... but they are about half a ticket stage ahead of the Union. Yeah, it's been less than half down to breaking now. That's all the CSA has to do left to cap. Yes, so Union needs to shift their reserves. Absolutely. Do you think they might be trying to set up for a counterattack, or...? Um, I don't think so. The way how the rules in HRE work, you're only allowed to basically leave the spawn with like three or more guys. Uh, so maybe they're collecting to then deploy. That could be. But we can see now a little bit of a counterway towards the fish hook, but they can't hold that. Look at that massive CSA line. Yeah, that's quite a lot. Yes, he has, TSA has now breached the Union defenses in the center. This time they broke in the center. They did break in the center. <laughs> no, but uh, was right. To be to be as kind as I can, the Union really has to relocate their reserves. Do you think I should focus on the uh, bottom of the fish hook, or do you think I should focus on the top? Uh, at the moment, uh, the bottom and the center are the most threatened. I would basically just deal with them in the center. The bottom of the fish hook, it's still more of a distance towards point, so... They would. They have to basically put their defensive lines now inside of the earthworks instead of around the earthworks. All right. So the top, so the center portion, you think is the bigger threat? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I think you're right. They, they, can, they can just step over and be on cap. So it's. And look how yes, close we are now to breaking. So unless you deal with that, it's. I think the Union needs to do a big counter push to dislodge some of them. For example, the Italian regiment down here really needs to get offensive. Uh, like they're in the side of the CSA unit here. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about this deployment. I think this might be too far away to support the main point. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. A lot of combat power down here. They could just walk on point and then get ensconced on the caissons. I mean, they have sufficient numbers. If they volley and then charge, it should give them the best chance of making an impact. But as I can see, south of their position, they have a CSA force under Mr. Porp firing in their backs. Yeah, but they're so far away, I mean. Well, they couldn't hit an elephant at this distance. We all famously know how that ended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean I'm more worried about uh, being the fight on point, you know, being the knife fight on point. Yes, yes, yes. And it looks like JB is moving up towards the point here. 
Put our shirts. Oh, artillery! Put Union artillery decimates yeah, Porps, guys. Line, Half of his line oh, is did gone. They? Oh, I missed it. Oh no, a lot of him got up. So it only got some. I mean, I it, it was up. enough to give him the move, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> they sound a little uh, panicky. I wouldn't say there either. But yes, the Union internal cannons are being reloaded. There's the breaking. <laughs> Union now needs to stand on point. Like units that are down towards the fish or are on the right hand side of the flag. Oh, there's some cannons going off. They're moving now. Oh my god. I don't know. God, I'm sorry. Union now needs to bulk up on point. Yeah, I think this is just a fight over mass now. Yes. Oh. NYV is charging in from below. It looks like we got a pretty uh, concentrated charge here from the Union. That's good, and honestly, not a moment too late. Uh, CSA is capping, so... Indeed, the bayonet now has to speak. You gotta really cut off this reinforcement, you gotta take out these flags, too. Oh, you're men screaming. Yeah, the problem is the caissons make it so hard to charge. It is tough. It little is tough. limbers, I guess. Like, whatever they are. <laughs> uh, limbers, yes. <laughs> I always say caissons. Like, no, those are not caissons. But anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, the, lino the caissons are a bit further back. But sadly, uh, CSA... Oh, oh, for a second. It's going down. It's going down. They, 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 are, they are pushing through. They got... See, they got once they got the flags panicky, that's when you start winning. So then you start getting the uh, the balance back. Union now has to wipe them and then immediately get on the earthworks again. Immediately. Because the CSA reinforcements are working their way up. Do you, um, yep, yep, they have. Now Union is close to uh, last stand. CSA still on taking losses here. 11 minutes less than the fight. Uh, what do you think the CSA should be doing now? Uh, same strategy, really. It is doing a big, big number on the Union. The Union just has to form a solid defensive line. I'd say around the center now. As you can see from the northeast or southwest, depending on where you look on, there's this tree halfway up the, up the hill towards the earthworks. It's a popular co collection spot for assault. That is probably the next... Basically, that's path where they're gonna assault. So Union is doing exactly what they should. They're manning the earthworks in the critical centers, and they should guard this down CSA flags like with their life. And yep. as you said, as the flags started panicking, they started to waver. Yep. It's once you start getting it, they start getting out of line, and skirmishing, and then those numbers start changing on you. Um, what do you think about letting the already uh, kind of the CSA already go to work for like two or three minutes, try to get them down to last stand? And just Good. wait, waiting a little bit before re-engaging for the CSA. Good work, but I would rather do a creeping barrage. I would just move up in steps, so basically from that big tree to the next set of skirmish rocks. Let already fire a salvo, advance, move closer. Let him fire a salvo. Basically, prepare the ground for the assault. I wouldn't charge into prepared defensive positions without artillery support. It needs to go hand in hand. So. Uh, no prep, just just kind of let it uh, keep the pressure up, essentially, but not be reckless. They, uh, if the pressure stays up and the unit defense gets porous, they will break. So there are strong nerves now required from both sides, not to make mistakes. But it looks like CSA is moving center, and as we've seen from Mr. Porp, he is looking for a right way drive. Yep, indeed. But yeah, Union is doing what they can. The artillery is preparing 
themselves. I see one of the cannons pointed at the bottom of the fish hook and one into the previous breach, so... HD trying to keep it set there, yep. How, how, yeah. have you, uh, how have you been impressed with your guys? You think uh, pretty satisfied with their performance? Now the thing is, we are mixed today. We are also with a bunch of infantry guys. Oh, okay, and so it's a bit... It's more of a learning by doing thing, but... I can't say I have seen any bad stuff, so it's solid. Nice, and then here looks like the final assault going in. Yep. USA now needs to all go there, as well as the Italian regiment in the back. It looks like they're... Come on, boys, move. Well, CSA goes to breaking Union just about last stand. I think I hear Uncle Dragon. Yeah, when can't you hear him? talking about Odin or something. Oh, CSA artillery hit close. Get out of here, Frank. Oh, friendly God. fire. We saw oh, some friendly fire. Well, but Union count. Well, nope. CSA is still flooding in. Yeah, one CSA flag has been eliminated, though. Now they need to they need to just assault them. They have nothing to lose except their lives. Oh, just that, you know. And here we are, last stand. Seven minutes remaining. Send the Yanks back to New York in a coffin! Nice work, boys, nice work. And there goes the cap. Keep going, guys. Oh, this is beautiful. To hell in New York City, boys! Drive them to hell in New York yeah. City! Kill them all! To hell in New yeah. York City, boys! And as the last stand panics set in, you can see team kills on both sides. With people just running on adrenaline. Yep. The order kind of falls apart, and we'll see. This looks like the Union might have a final push coming through here, but it looks pretty disorganized. Yeah, I mean, like I said, that's the thing. Uh, you basically just go into autopilot at that point. We hold here, boys. But Union seems to be gaining the upper hand. Uh, we'll see. They're kind of cresting on them. They basically just have to throw themselves at the berm right now. Yeah, you gotta knock down those flags. That's your problem. You gotta. If you can knock down those four flags, eh, you know. But until you do that, you're in trouble. Yes, the flags are more important for the uh, for the attacking team. Definitely. Now, the Union flags are basically worthless at that point, so I would just let the Union flags rush forward and try to cause <laughs> distractions. Uh, yep. No, no, going, oh, here going. comes Lyferic. He's going to try to come keep around going. and flank him. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wow. They love their back shots. Well, yeah, I mean, talking about back shots. But they have to be haste, because there is Major Carthon and Captain Canada going in. They have to do a sweeping maneuver back into their own defenses. Uh, no, yeah, it's already, it's, it's, it was a nice idea, you know, a nice way to end it, but, uh, yeah, they're just going to get thrown off the field here. So, what did you, uh, what did you think of the match overall? Rough. I all I'm all I can say is rough. Uh, both sides played pretty good. The CSA applied continuous pressure, and as soon as bayonets were on, the gloss were off. And there we go. A valiant effort by the Union, though. They got the CSA almost to final push. The only thing I would criticize is uh, the moving off reserves on the Union side. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, it might have been some different dispositions, but overall, I was I thought it was pretty good. And uh, thanks again to Mr. Angle for joining me. Uh, the link to HD, which is his unit, is in the description. And we got one more match to go. So we will uh, see you all for that one. All right. Yeah, I'll let it, uh, I'll let it run on the recording just so we can see the uh, casualties. Absolutely, man. The, that's a, it's a good feature to also see where the line broke. Uh, unfortunate moving out of that cannon on the fish hook. Good idea, but unfortunate outcome.
Yep, it was a nice idea. Just the uh, port kind of kind of threw it. So, uh, yeah, top top three thousand. Yes. Oh, almost. Oh, not quite. Close.